Good morning, world. <laughs> a good morning, world, Aries says. <laughs> Brutus, too. Good morning, world. Oh, good morning. All right. Let's do this. I need this so bad. Ah. All my goodies. Ooh, filling my body with so much goodness. I'm loving this Elite, too. While I'm working out, especially. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I forgot to do alcohol swab. I can always tell because it doesn't stick as good right away. Oh, I forgot to get my life mix. Give me just a moment. All right, guys, let's do this. Let me pause this. Happy Wednesday hump day, as they would say, right? <laughs> Set my little timer. Helps keep me focused. Get my lifestyle mix going, and then we'll get our minds. Uh, we'll, we'll teach our minds something today, huh? Oh, that was a little weird. So people are talking to me at the gym, and it's cool. But it's definitely a, a thing of anxiety that I have to get over. I want to, I want to, you know, that's how you make friends. People talk to you, right? <laughs> it's just, uh, it's funny where the nerves and things come up. And I'm like, ooh, that's a little tough. Partially, too. I'm not a, like, let's go to the gym and work out together. I go to the gym and I work out. That's, you know, so even even though my husband goes with me every day, we go our separate ways. Like, we might connect up, you know, for a few moments or something while we're there, but we do not work out together. And I'm perfectly okay with that because uh, that's what I do. But it, my nerves get in the way sometimes, that's all, so... I don't even know why I wanted to share that. Let me get a drink of my lifestyle mix. Help clear some fog up in my brain right now. <laughs> All right. Ooh, I was so ready for that. My fast is getting longer. Which it can only go so long anyway. Because even if I get home at 5.45 and eat by at 6. So, but that's what the goal is. That's what we're working on. So, by the time I'm ready for this breaks my fast, that's why I don't do it at 30 minutes. I just do it here um, because of the calories in it. So, all right, let's get some morning mental prep going on this March 29th, Wednesday hump day. Um, this will be my last weekend at the Renaissance, and as much as I have enjoyed it and is a job that's not a job, it's still a job, it's still a commitment, and I'm looking forward to having my weekends back. Um, it's amazing how much more I get done <laughs> when I have that extra day. So Today we need to remember that the world will always fall back into place. There will be days that set your soul on fire with triumph. There will be moments of such divine goodness. That you dance in the streets and praise moments. I don't know what that's about. That's so new. If anybody knows, let me know. That would be great. Admittedly, I have not Googled it yet. So maybe it's time to do that. It ne it's only recently started doing that, so. All right, woo, -woo, woo rewind, let's try again. There will always, there will be days that set your soul on fire with triumph. There will be moments of such divine goodness that you dance in the streets in praise. Honor these times for the genuine magic that they are. With your heart wide open and graciously accept these moments. But know that some days will be different. 
Do not judge yourself for the quiet times, the less confident days, and the sometimes somber nights. Those times, too, are necessary in an often too loud world. <laughs> mm. Cry when you need to. <laughs> Laugh when you are called to. Dance when you want to feel. Dance when you want to. Feel whatever you are compelled to. Trust that the world will always fall back into place. Oh my. I live in this. I like how this is said. And this is in my memories. I didn't post it. But I am definitely going to go back and make a comment on it so that it gets back into the feed. That is the hardest thing really right now is on those days where I don't feel inspired or I don't have confidence or I'm afraid of all the what could be's coming my way with if I do something. I have to remind myself this too shall pass. This is not my forever. Okay, let's see what I can learn or maybe just be quiet. The worst feeling about it, I think, is the, un the feeling of being unproductive. Because I got things I want to do, you know. I got to get out there and reach people and change lives. <laughs> and I can only do that by reaching people. I've been putting this on my YouTube, by the way. Actually, I'm a couple days behind. So feel free to hop over there and check it out. I should put that in my comments of the video now that I'm doing that. Gosh. What are we going to do? Read for the law of attraction. This book is about. Oh, here we go. <laughs> How uh, appropriate, really. Don't dwell in fear. And anyway, fear says face everything and rise. And also false evidence appearing real. In working with the law of attraction, you need not dwell on what initially caused the problem, nor worry about when the condition initially emerged. Your work is to believe that the condition or illness is gone and vibrant health has returned. Just by feeling good, you are in touch with the energy source of all that exists. Say some law of attraction teachers and that high frequency energy source is your lifeline to a lifetime of good health. They say, they being Abraham Hicks, say that, I like how they say it, Abraham, well-being is always flowing, you're either resisting or allowing, and think about the implications of that, this is energy, right, energy, you're either resisting or allowing it, so... Today's an interesting day for me. Um, today is two anniversaries. Today is um, the 15-year marriage anniversary of my husband. Although I feel like the 18-year anniversary that we've been together is more important because why do I get chipped out of those three years? But <laughs> anyway... 15 years married, and also the death anniversary of my stepdad. Eight years. Eight years. And my mom's been seven years or six years this year. My gosh. That'll be in October, though. I can tell you that they are one of the reasons that I do what I do every day. They are one of the reasons why taking care of me and my and not just a, oh, a relaxing day on the couch eating up stuff and watching TV. I mean, that's great too, but if that's your that's you're not really refilling yourself. You're not really really recharging yourself that way. That's great in between the other self-care stuff, right? Um they are a huge reason why I will be healthy at 80 <laughs> because I, I, they, they were, fair, they were young. My mom was 57 when she died. 
Um, I don't remember how old my my stepdad was, but he was older than my mom, 10 or 15 years or something like that. 67, I don't think he was that old. Gosh, I gotta go back and look at that. <laughs> anyway though, my mom is the catalyst. <clears throat> She's only 57 and she looked 70. Dr. Joe Dispenza, there's evidence out there, including, I read it initially in Dr. Joe Dispenza's book, um, Breaking the Habit of Being Yourself. There's two of them I've read. Oh, the other title is eluding me. But anyway, in it, I read that it is proven that <laughs> our ailments, 95% I think is the number, 90, 95% is the number. Our ailments are 95% caused by our environment, by lifestyle. I'm going to get the book out. I need to take a note. The timer went off and I got to go, but I... I say it all the time. Don't take my word for it. Look it up for yourself, man. Like, I'm, I'm not just... Think about what that means. Think about what you could do if, if you just kind of was curious about that enough to start exploring it. What does that mean? That means the way that you feel you could start making better by changing some things in your environment. It's overwhelming at first. I know it was for me for sure because so many things... Like I don't buy regular soap anymore. My soap is homemade from a single mom in New York. Um... Uh, lotion, I only use a hemp lotion. Uh, you know, I don't, I, I don't use body spray. I don't use deodorant. Um, nope, I don't fucking use deodorant. No one's ever told me I stink yet, but I use some body butter, you know, homemade again, same single mom. It's great, but I haven't used deodorant in seven years. No one's ever said, hey, bitch, you stink, so... <laughs> And all those chemicals are not going in my body. We use vinegar and baking soda for cleaning supplies. Dawn is, and we have bleach. We bleach as needed, um, but we don't use bleach a lot. Um, I like to bleach my bathroom for, you know, bathrooms especially. But uh, anyway, I'm babbling on so much to say. I just get, I'm in a place of how do I step up my game, if you will, because the stuff is out there. And and especially in, in the contrast of the bigger fucking world that's going on right now, we have to focus on what we can do to make things better. So what you can do is start supporting local, start supporting small businesses, start getting rid of the chemical-laden crap that they've been feeding us for I don't even know how long. And he can get, oh, I'm on a tangent, I need to stop. <laughs> The passion just comes through. My husband will tell me, why are you yelling? I'm like, I'm not yelling. It's called passion. It's called passion. <laughs> it's called fucking passion. I got to go. I got to go do my AMs and my gratitudes. Thanks for listening to me. If you caught the replay, let me know where you're watching from. And um, I'm going to go do my IMs and gratitudes and my 10-minute writing dump. I encourage you to do the same thing. Develop your own morning mental prep routine. Win the morning, win the day. Come on now. Win the morning, win the day. I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful that I have the courage to get on here and just talk to whoever. Somebody sees a light in it somewhere, hopefully, right? There's one person. And that's the whole point. And that, that's why, because I hope that somebody gets something out of it and they're like, oh, look, their life is 1% better. Man, that's better than no percent better. Just saying. All right, I'm out. I will see you guys all tomorrow. Same bat time, same bat channel. And as always, peace and love.